In this lesson, we are going to implement order details screen. When you as a customer select a product and add it to cart and press it to checkout, after place an order, you will be redirected to the order screen. In this lesson, we are going to implement this order screen and also the PayPal checkout will be the topic of next lesson. So let's implement this page. Go to code and in the front end folder, SRC screen, you are going to create order screen. I'm not gonna make that from scratch and it's much better to duplicate place order screen because in term of UI, they are very close to each other, order details and place order. Rename that to order screen. I need to update this to show details of any given order. First of all, get rid of local storage import because we do not need them anymore. And also get rid of convert cart to order. We don't need that too. In the render function, get rid of convert cart to order. And here it's time to get request information. Const request parse request URL. And based on request.id, which is gonna be the ID of current order, I want to get all information about this order. So I need to send an Ajax request to the server. Const order equal to await get order based on request.id. We need to make render as a sync. Great. By having order, I can use the constructing assignment to get shipping payment and other info. Double click on it and put a pair of curly braces and inside that put shipping, payment, order items, items price, shipping price, tax price, and total price. Let's check. Great. We have all information that we need at this point. Also, there is no need to place order because it's going to show the description and information about this order. So it's time to implement get order. Open API in front and SRC and at the very end, export const get order. It's an async function that accept an ID and inside that we are going to send a request to server to get information about this order. First of all, get the token because we are going to send, we are going to send an authorized request. Const token, get it from local storage, get user token info. And then it's time to create a request. Const data equal to await Axios. Set the parameter URL is going to be API URL slash API slash orders slash ID of orders is going to be dollar sign curry braces ID. Second parameter is headers. And for headers, first of all, set content type to application JSON and set authorization to barrier token inside backtick. There is no need to send any data for this request. And after sending that, it's time to check the result. First of all, wrap the whole code inside try catch, move this code inside try part, and the catch should check the error. If there is an error, return error equal to error dot message. Good, it should be response, not data. Response. And after getting response, if 
response.statistics doesn't equal to OK, I need to throw an error. Through new error. And the error message is going to be response.data.message. Otherwise, return data, response.data. Good. In the order screen, I need to import get order like this. You know, at the very top, I have get order from API. And also, there is no need to have this code in the after render. We can get rid of unused items. Good. So the order screen at this point is going to be like this. And there is no need to have checkout render. Get rid of it. And the only thing we need to show here is H1. And this H1 should show order. And here the ID of that order. Order.id. And close H1. Because we do not have order dot, I need to get rid of it. And here, use the ID with the syntax. Also, get rid of checkout steps component. We do not need that anymore. And it's time to introduce order screen to index.js. Open index.js in the route section. What I'm going to do is to duplicate product column ID and change it order column ID and order screen. In the order screen, rename place order screen to order screen. Copy that, go to at the very end and replace that. And in the index.js, import that. Import order screen from dot slash screen slash order screen. Let's check the result. When I select a product, add it to cart and follow the instruction to place an order. You see, I get this error. It says slash API slash order and the ID of order 404 error. It doesn't found. Implement this API, select router folder and open order router. Before post, set router dot get. We are going to send the get request colon slash colon id and here i'm going to use is auth because it's an authenticated api and inside that and for responder use express async handler and inside that define rec and res as a function at this point, I'm going to get information about this request by the order ID. const order equal to await order dot find by ID rec dot params dot ID. Here I'm using await. So this function should be async. After getting order, I need to check order. If it exists, that's okay. Rest dot send that order. Otherwise, I need to send 404 rest.status 404.send message order not found. Here the router is order router. Great. Let's check the result. Refresh. And this time, as you see, I'm getting the data about this order. I want to add the state of shipping and the state of payment right here. Let's do that. Go to order screen and next to shipping. Here I'm going to check is delivered. Dollar sign carry braces is delivered. Render this one, a dev with class success. And inside that show this message delivered at dollar sign delivered at and close that. Otherwise, create a dev, set class to error, and the message should be not delivered, and close that. We need to extract is delivered and delivered at right here. 
is delivered and delivered at and same rules apply to payment right after payment method put this and change that to paid and not paid is paid and paid at copy this and move it to get order and copy paid at and paste it right here great let's check the result aha uh -huh. you see here is the shipping info and here is the payment info and what i'm gonna do is to create a space for the dev right here open style.css and for order info dev and dev you know the second level dev set padding to one rem aha uh -huh. very close to this one as you see we just implemented the order details screen before finishing this lesson let's fix a typo error in order router.js in the backend for post method to create a new order in this line tax price there is extra t here get rid of it and save it to make sure you do not see undefined anymore you can go to home page click add to cart proceed to checkout and place order as you see this time you have tax here let's review what we did in this lesson First of all, in the order router, we defined a router for getting information about a, a specific order. And then in the API part in the front end, we define get order function to get data from backend and provide that for order screen. And we just used those information sent back by order by backend and use that to show them in the order screen also in the index.js we define the order screen for this route slash order slash id of order and as a result when you click on an order it should be order slash the id of order and when you refresh this page you can see all details about this order that's it for this lesson and for next lesson we are going to implement paypal payment until that lesson bye bye